Welcome back. When you are looking for third-party verifiable information as well as scientific studies, you can actually visit googlescholar.com. You can find it at scholar.google.com. And you'll want to use this search area as if you were looking for studies or if you were looking for surveys or if you were looking for research. So for example, if we were going to look for research on low-carb dieting, we could put in our search term. And what you're going to find is you're going to find a number of different kind of results. Primarily, what you're going to get access to are academic and some professional studies. In some cases, you will not get the entire article. You may get access to some of the findings and you may have to go beyond that or have a subscription to get the actual study. However, in most cases, you can look at the abstract and the abstract will give you the basic and the most concise understanding of what the study actually says. And in most cases, this will probably be enough for you to summarize what the study says as well as to quote it in something that you are doing. Google Scholar will also allow you to create an alert where you can have new items sent to you. But one of the most important things that you'll want to do is you'll want to be able to take your operators and you'll be able to use them inside of Google Scholar. So in some cases, we might use a symbol operator and get a different set of results. So you want to take your cheat sheet and you want to use different sets of some of the search elements to use it to find different items in Google Scholar. But taking your search term will actually give you the opportunity to get third party verifiable information that you can use as proof and or social proof. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.